Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today let's check out the first Berserker, Kazan, on the Steam Deck Steam OS. This game is not released yet, but there's a free demo. So if you want to check this game out, make sure you go to Steam and get the free demo. Try it out for yourself. Uh, I'm going to be testing this game out with the DLSS Enabler mod, which boosts performance because it adds frame generation. Okay, I'll show you what I mean if you don't know what I'm talking about. So let's check out this game. I'm actually quite interested in this game. It's on my radar for 2025. It's not my most anticipated game for 2025. That goes to um, Monster Hunter Wilds, GTA 6, if it does come out in 2025, um, and also Crimson Desert. I think these are the three games that I'm most interested in for 2025. But this game is also on my radar. So I'm really glad that they've got a demo out so you can test it out early. Uh, and I did, I've, I played a little bit of it and it's actually quite good. Okay, so let's go to my settings. Resolution 720p, I'm on my Steam Deck. So yes, yeah, 720p, frame limit off. Um, quality preset, I'm going to set it to low and we'll go out from there. Okay, um, and then this game uh, has DirectX 11 and DirectX 12, two versions. You got to restart if you change between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. So I'm going to use DirectX 12 because I've got the uh, DLSS enabler mod. So that requires DirectX 12. So make sure you turn on DirectX 12 if you're installing this. And then you can see here, I've got DLSS and I can toggle it on and off. That's because I've got the DLSS enabler mod, okay? This is not really DLSS. It's just lets you toggle it on and it translates it into like, um, you can change it to XEXS or FSR. And the main reason is you want to toggle on frame generation. Okay, because this game does not have FSR 3 frame generation. So if you're playing on the Steam Deck, no frame generation for you by default. You have to add this mod. It only has FSR2 upscaling. Okay, and it has XEXS as well. All right, so let's start with uh, frame generation on and uh, low preset. Let's start with this. And yeah, let's start the game and see how it performs. It actually performs really well. I've, I've played a bit of it. I've played uh, just the starting area, tested a few things out actually pretty good and i really really okay we're gonna skip the cutscenes just gonna focus on gameplay uh, i really like the art style of this game so if you're into action rpg and you like this type of graphics like cell shaded anime style it's like, kind of like breath of the wild yeah these graphics like stand the test of time like 10 years, 20 years down the line, you'll still think like, if you go back to this game, you'll still enjoy, you still like the graphics. Some games that are like hyper-realistic, they try to be hyper-realistic, they don't really stand the test of time. <laughs> like 10, 20 years down the line, you play it and it feels really dated. Yeah, these, I like, I like this style. Like not all games need to be hyper-realistic, it just needs to be a fun game, good story good mechanics and you know graphics like this you can see look how how well it performs on the steam deck because it doesn't try to do that hyper realistic graphics i'm using frame generation and it's like 100 fps on low settings that's, that's because a game like this where you know action rpg you need like precision you know the perfect dodge perfect block um yeah performance is more important than graphics in my opinion. No. So you need, you know, good frame rate. It needs to be smooth. And this is a great example of that. Okay, skip cutscene.
Okay. So now let's change the settings. Let's change the preset to medium. See if that has a big impact. So not much impact with medium settings. Uh, you get more in, uh, impact when you change to high or max settings. Then you can see a... Like, it does look a little bit better. I played it on handheld. Like I'm using a capture card right now, so it's kind of blown up. But uh, if you play on the Steam Deck screen, it actually looks really good on, on max settings. It, it looks great. I think I need to recover some health. Oh, one shot mid-air. That's pretty good. Three doomables. Let me interrupt for a minute. This might save you some money. If you're interested in the game that we're showing today, the first Berserker, Kazan, okay, you downloaded the demo from Steam. Okay, before you make a purchase or pre-order it, make sure you go over to instantgaming.com. They're the sponsor of today's video. They sell games at cheap prices because they buy their games directly from the game developers. So it cuts out any middleman. Uh, it's currently like not up on their page right now, but um, you know you can check it out. Uh, make sure you compare the prices before, before you make a purchase because it's normally way cheaper than purchasing it from steam so yeah make sure you check them out i'll leave a link in the description use my link i am the official partner so i do get a little kickback for every purchase you make using my link uh, but that's at no additional cost to you so yeah let's get back to the video okay let's try high settings remember i've got fsr uh fsr frame generation on okay i'm using the dlss enabler mod that's why I can enable frame generation. Okay, it's not DLSS, just to make sure, because we don't have an NVIDIA GPU on the Steam Deck. Uh, it's just a mod that enables, uh, and then it translates it into FSR 3. That's open source, that's why they can do it. Oh, got, oh, got some items. Wrist. Cool. Lantern. Okay. Use energy hotkey items. Three. Lantern. On. Now you too will hear the memories of the dead. Fire enhancer. Temporary grants fire attributes to weapons. Okay. We'll figure that out later. That does have a little stutter. I'm not sure if that's like compiling shaders or anything like that. Okay, let's add fatality. 
upgrade. I hate it when they've got an archer behind. Gotta block them. Oh my god. Not good, not good. But the game's good, game's good, and it's performing really, really well. All right, let's go to the final setting, which is max. Apply changes. I don't think I'll be playing at max. Like it does look a little bit better on on on, on like. Oh, I got my my soul back. It's like the Souls game. Like I'm trying to kill the archer first. Yeah, that's that's way better. That's what you should do. Yeah, that was that was way easier without the archer. Shock resistance. My god, this is like a mini boss. So you really got to watch your stamina. Not good. Not good. Yeah, so you can see like with max settings. Um, it's obviously like not the best performance. It's not bad. Still. Yeah, I think I'll play with medium. I think that feels the best for me. I just feel smoother. Okay, let's see if we can if we can deal with this guy. Yeah, I think I have to do it off camera. Not, I'm not good enough to to record and play like this. All right, yeah, great game. Um, runs runs really really well. So like, if you're interested into installing the uh, the mod, okay, it's really easy right now. I've got a video I'll show you. Um, but uh, all you have to do is go into desktop mode and and copy this script, run it in console, it downloads the mod into your directory, and then on your game. On your game, uh, what you need to do is you need to... Let me see if I can get into the game. Uh, you need to go into the game properties and then you just add this launch options. And that's it. So it's really, really simple. I've got a video showing you how to do it. It's, it's linked in the description. All right. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.